that are expertly trained to, you know, from the start of choosing the right selection of meat all the way to uh, expertly grilling to the right degree of doneness and seasoning it just right for you. So with lamb, what you're looking for out of it is you want to make sure that you have a nice red marble color to it. Mm -hmm. um, pink to red for your uh, marbling on your lamb. Same thing with your beef and your steaks as sure. well. Um, and so today, and then you also want to show you how to cut it today. Okay. So you want to kind of take the lamb, cut it along the bone from the long side of the bone. There you go. All the way into the short end of that bone right there. All right. All right. And so we're going to throw it in here. Well, actually, let me prepare our marinade first. The next key to it is the marinade with Got it. it. We use canola oil. Okay. Minced onion. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Staples. There you go and some fresh herbs. Perfect. We're going to let those mix a little bit. Okay. We're going to marinate our lamb in that for about an hour. Okay. So you can really let those flavors well, that's absorb not long into at all. Exactly. You let get those all flavors that flavor absorb just into from the an meat. hour of letting it sit. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then we're going to season it uh, with a little salt, pepper and garlic. Yep. And then we're going to throw it on our grill over here. Okay. As they finish up on our grill, they're going to cook for about 3 minutes on each side. Mm -hmm and uh, to about a degree of about 145 degrees of internal temperature. Gotcha. Okay, take us around the table too with what you have here. All right, well what we have here is our... Uh, Can I uh, serve myself up a margarita? Yes, okay. go right ahead. This is our perfect margarita that we have. Um, it's uh, made with our El Jimador tequila, mm. a little uh, ab um, of uh, um, citron, and then also have our... Uh, I assume an old-fashioned. An old-fashioned, yeah. There you go. Okay. With amaranth, Italian cherries to it. Got a great flavor to it. With our single barrel, oh, signature single barrel, Longhorn Knob Creek. Everything you need to drink. That's right. I'm looking at this T-bone right here, and it's, it's <laughs> speaking volumes to me. So oh, this, yeah. along with uh, the that is our, mac that is and our cheese. Steakhouse mac and cheese, which is a signature dish that we have. Yeah. The key thing to, like I said, to always selecting uh, anything uh, as far as your meats go is go. fresh, never frozen, Got as it. we use at Longhorn Steakhouse. So uh, what mm. I have over here right now, our promotion is the big uh, bone-in flavors, mm -hmm. uh, this, which is why we have the lamb going. Um, I've got a T-bone steak over there. We've got our outlaw ribeye right there. I even threw in one of our fillets because you want that nice, Always you know, tender, item. yeah, tender. Uh, flavor with it, and then we have our steakhouse mac and cheese. You guys are Ooh, trying right good. there. Oh my Can't beat it with a four cheese sauce, and you know, always got a little bit of bacon to it as well. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to finish this lamb off here, if I could, for you. Sure. And and we're going to top it with our. Got to get the presentation. Exactly. On that. Yes. exactly. It's exactly. all about presentation. We're going to finish it off with our roasted tomato oh, and garlic so bordelais good. sauce on the back end of there. It top, looks, looks and good. it's on top of garlic roasted mashed potatoes and a wilted cream, uh, wilted spinach. Uh, fantastic for springtime, can't beat it. Looks delicious. You can stop into Longhorn Steakhouse or order on their website. Just go to longhornsteakhouse.com. Thanks so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you so much. If you don't want to do it, leave the grill on to us. We'll happily do it for you. There it is. <laughs> Stick around, put up a day.